Alright guys, Ayers Farming here and welcome to episode number 8 on Bessie Beneath. So, if you all remember in uh, in the previous episode, we harvested um, our field of oats. Off screen, I've bailed all the straw up. So, as I said in the previous episode, this one, uh, the task for today, will be collecting all the bales up and stacking it in our uh, in our store, in our straw shed. So, we've, uh, we've got the... Uh, straw stacking slash carting set up all already and um raring to go so we'll hop in the john deere and we will go and collect our first lot of bales i can't remember off the top of my head how many bales i uh, i got off the field in the end but i suppose by the end of this episode We'll know how many we've got. I think it was something perhaps like 20 or 30. I think is what I got. So it wasn't too bad in the end. But uh, yep, yeah, here we are. A lovely baled field of straw. So yeah, we'll get collecting these up. Like so. Yeah, it's easy just using a um, an auto load trailer. There be a lot of people there uh, in the comments going, "No, why are you, why are you using an auto load trailer?" But it's just so much easier and quicker. So, if I was doing a very realistic series, then um, maybe I would stack them realistically. But I'd still, I'd, I'd still use a. Um, a lock, lock in bale for which is what we've got at the top here so because the bales just they don't act like they, they would in uh, real life so that's that's why i just i use these uh these sorts of mods for carting bales and for stacking them so right so if i sort of pull up in front like this and load them and we're gonna hop in the telehandler so we're gonna want one on top of there so if i grab that bale and then if we put two together make it a bit easier for ourselves like so Ooh. There we go. Try not to lift the whole stack off. So yeah, and then if I pop this on top of one, like so, uh, how are we looking? All right. That's about right. Then we'll grab these two. And then we'll uh, stick them there. And then we're going to need another two by the side of that. And then we can start a, uh, a fresh stack in front then. Just put it in. Like so. There we go, and that's those two in. Give them a little push, and there we go. So we got another two. Like this. And then these can go beside them. I'm really proud of this. These, uh, these, both of these stacks. To be fair, they've turned out really, really nice. Very symmetrical, very neat and tidy, which is what I like when uh, doing a bell stack. So that's all good. Right, let's just do that. There we go, and they're in. So we'll grab another one. I'll make a fresh stack now. 
probably want to push that over a bit. Just so it's in line with the other bale. Oh. There we go, like so. There we go, and that's all nice now and flush, so. Because I, I always think with bale stacks, if you get the first, like, line of your bale stack right, then the rest of it will go right as well. So if you get this first line perfect, the rest of the line will be fine. So... That's my pro tip for bale stacking anyway. Like that, I think. I want to move over a bit more. And that's about right. Put them there. Give them a little push. We're going to get another two. But yeah, I get very... um. <laughs> Very OCD when it comes to my bail stacks, so. There we go, we'll stick this one on top of them. Like this, we'll leave this three high. to go over a bit more oh god he's moving the other one as well they do jump about these bales I have to admit which again proves my uh, point about them not acting like proper bales but anyway we'll, uh, we'll cope with it we shall cope with it only three more days as well um until the uh the new dlc comes out which is very exciting i'm not sure if i'm gonna get it yet if i'm being uh perfectly honest i'm not really sold on it yet so i can't say i'm a a huge fan of it but yeah for those of you who are looking forward to it yeah three more days would it be two more when this video comes out Which is cool. But yeah, I don't know. It just... It's not really equipment I would use perhaps very often. So that's perhaps why I'm perhaps not really that sold on it. Um, but I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. There we go, put this in. Like so. So what do we want? Another one there. A one and a one is what we really want. That's what we really want. like this if I get my wheel stuck on the old pillars oh god making a mess of it I know what I'll do leave that like that and then I can come along from the other side and just push it over a bit I get close enough that is there we go that's a bit better I can always push it over with um, the next lot of bales that's not a problem
Oops. Didn't grab it. Now I got it. There we go, like this. There we go. Am I going to get another load? I think it's... What control? I think it's that one. That's the one. That's fine. First up here, I'm going to go and get another load. I need to close that shed door, actually. We'll close that up because we've finished with our combine now for the year. And we'll get another lot of bales. Shouldn't take too many loads, I don't think, to clear this field, so... Do I get these shifted fairly quickly? There you go, get this one in the corner. Like so. And I'll grab these three. Like that. That's what we got. Maybe another load. Load in a bit, perhaps. Two loads. There we go. Lovely job. It's always satisfying as well when you've got a nice uh, nice bale stack. There we go. Get these unloaded. We go along the bottom, but we've got another four lots of two to put along the bottom. Just tuck that in a bit. There we go. I'll push it in. There we go. Grab these. I don't know what it is as well. I just like the look of the uh, the Heston bales. I just are really. I just think they look really nice. Then yeah, uh, that was a bit of a bad drop. A bit of a um. And the uh, just the normal standard in-game ones, the uh, like, well, IRL you call them quadrants. But yeah, I think they just look better than uh, than those bales. There we go, this one I want pushing up a bit. Let's just get it 
right on the trailer. Save us messing about a bit. There you go, it's not too bad. So yeah, we should have enough straw now. Hay, I think we perhaps have got enough maybe as well for a year to get some well, a decent amount of cows anyway. So we could just do with some grass for some silage. That's what we need. So... I'd almost be tempted to to buy some in, but when we've got some, you know, plenty of grass fields and it's growing for us for free, it seems a bit silly to go and buy some silage bales. So there you go. I put I put these up top. Put these up top. Oh, be inside the bracket. There we go. There in. That's lovely. It's always good as well. Like your silage bunkers, you've got to tightly compact them in a um, what's call it in a uh, in a bale stack. Don't be afraid to push against them when you've got like a flat wall like this and uh, squash them all together so they're not going to fall over. There we go. So that's the bottom done. So what do we want? We want one on there and then another two. So if I go one, to, uh, take one now and put another one next to it. Put one there, then one on the next uh, <clears throat> on the next line. There you go, and then put put one there. Like so. There we go. Let's see, make sure it's pushed against nicely. There we go. So I think we're perhaps going to get one more load and then probably like half a load. Which ain't too bad, really, all things considered. It did yield well, the crop, to be fair, so... Let's see how we get on, then. I can't remember how many I can get on a trailer load now. I think it's 
12 or 13. Oh, I'm going to leave two. Might come with Italian to get them. That's a bit annoying when that happens. Yeah, I'll come with Italian to get them last two. Yeah, <laughs> I won't make you watch watch uh, watch that. Me uh, drive to the field with Italiana to get two bales. I will put you out of you uh, you guys misery on that one. <laughs> there we go. Get these unloaded. Put these up top. I want two and a two. There we go. Sure, we got two and a two now. go push them on a bit more go that's better I want two right at the very top then Try and get these two in. Like so. There we go. That's him. Early job. She so want one on its own now, then another two and a two. Like this, pop this on the bottom. Oh. There we go, like that. I'm going to pop this one beside it. this zoom in a bit more that can go on like so I 
and then i think when i get the the other two off screen i'll put them one there and then one there as well There we go, like that. Perfect. Good looking, st it's a good looking stack. Good looking stack. If I do say so myself. Uh, we'll pop this one beside it. Methinks make it a bit uh, easy for ourselves. There we go, like that. And there we go. I'll get the other two bales um, off screen. But uh, yeah, that is where I'm going to call the video there, guys. So I hope you have all enjoyed watching. Um, next episode, I think what we'll probably do is we'll obviously be preparing that field for uh, for next year's crop so we'll be you know fertilizing it seeding it and and, uh, and whatnot so that'll be uh, next episodes but um, i hope you have enjoyed today's episode and if you have please uh consider hitting that like button and uh, and if you enjoy what you see please again consider hitting that subscribe button and hopefully i will see you all in the next episode thank you very much for watching bye guys